a retired military operative finds himself repeating the day over and over and over again after his death. This is the classic Groundhog Day, Palm Spring, Edge of Tomorrow meets Last Action Hero here, folks. Hi-ho, everybody. This is the Gringo Scott here today, and now we're getting right into my overall opinion. Let's start off with a negative, shall we? I would say not negative per se, but don't expect... Just be aware, it's kind of action-packed movie. Don't expect deep walks on the beach, major character development, major history of each character. You're just kind of got to know that this guy has got to defeat these stages, quote-unquote, by killing guys and getting to that boss that keeps trying to kill him. That's basically what it is. It's a very basic kill. John Wick. I mean, I don't know much about John Wick, do you? I don't think anyone does. Expect from this genre, as we all know, this genre is very known for being a bit repetitive. However, this movie does do pretty good at not making it too repetitive. They're quite clever how they do it. But we all know the genre. It's going to be a little repetitive because the day keeps repeating. Think, Think about, about them, them, poor guys. Right? And now is the time where I get a life lesson from the movie that helps us build a better life with living. This movie, like all repetitive time loop movies, brings up the theme of enjoying the process, not the end goal. Because in a repetitive movie, it never ends. So you might as well get really good at enjoying the process. And when you think about it, every end goal, it doesn't matter. You're always going to want a new goal. Once you achieve a goal, you want another goal. So you might as well get into the process. Because the same things over and over again, it's a universal concept. And that's what I felt like I learned from this movie. Process is king. Set your goals. Enjoy the process. Do little things that build yourself towards a better life. And after years of doing this, you'll look back and say, Hey, I have quite a life. Just on these movies, they do it all one day, but one day that repeats the same day over and over again. Oh, well, over 10 years. Kind of same thing. Just not as boring and repetitive. Hey, guys, that's just my opinion on this matter. Take what you want and leave the rest, okay? I'm just a guy. And jumping into the positive. Fun movie, creative take on time loop genre, for sure. Like, really cool some of the things they do. Some great tunes from the 70s. Well, two, actually. Boston and Bad Figure. It's really cool. It's the classic music playing, kind of mellow 70s music playing, why they're killing and taking out guys. I really think that's cool. That's always fun to do. It's like the contrast. Good Will Hunting did that. Remember at the scene of the basketball court, they played that mellow music, and it's like 70s or whatever, melancholy. It's like really cool. He does that. They do that in this too, and that's really cool. I like that as well. A bunch of cool little mini bosses, a cool villain. Just, it's a fun, fun video. It's almost like a video game movie with a little bit of background, a little bit of things like that. But a uh, very superhero action movie because it can keep trying and trying again until they get you. It's like a video game. Overall, I am honestly surprised and happy that Hulu pulled this out of its hat. Yeah, it lacks any real meaning, okay? It's more of Edge of Tomorrow than Palm Springs or Groundhog Day. There's not like real profound things that you discover. He's finding out he's got to reach this goal and kill these guys that are irritating. I keep trying to kill them. <sighs> Don't expect some super deep movie, like I said. This is an action movie. But it's quite satisfying. It's like the revenge kill, like John Wick. I really enjoyed this movie. There is something that happens at the end, by the way, that makes it lose 0.5 points. Because I don't want to be too mean, but 0.5, because... Shame on you. You... Uh, I don't have an imagination. Why do you do this to me? Uh. On that note, I give Boss Level 2021 Hulu original movie a rating of 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Peace! Yeah, boy!